Surrounded by his family and attorneys, the seven-time winner of baseball's premier pitching award, known for his tough demeanor, got emotional as he thanked his wife and sons. It's been uh, a hard five years, and uh, they've been great behind Dad and supporting Dad. My wife has been um, a rock. All you, you media guys that know me and followed my career, Put a lot of uh, hard work into that career. Central to the case were allegations that Clemens had used performance enhancing drugs. Clemens had long denied the charges, but it was you his testimony to Congress testimony under oath in 2008, give... which led to charges he had lied to protect his legendary charge. career. Let me be clear I have never taken steroids or HGH. But in court, prosecutors insisted Clemens had used steroids and HGH, human growth hormone and called two key witnesses to prove it. There were problems with both. Longtime teammate Andy Pettit testified Clemens once mentioned taking human growth hormone. But under cross-examination, Pettit retreated, saying there was a 50-50 chance he'd misunderstood his fellow pitcher. Clemens' former strength coach Brian McNamee testified he had personally injected Clemens with steroids and HGH. And he produced medical waste, which prosecutors say contained Clemens' DNA. But defense attorneys called the alleged evidence garbage, noting the needles and cotton balls had been stored in a crumpled beer can. In addition, McNamee admitted he had lied in a previous criminal investigation. For the U.S. Justice Department, this is clearly another bitter defeat, and it comes just a few weeks after the failed prosecution of former Senator John Edwards. Now, for Clemens, it's a legal win, but we should note that baseball fans are largely still suspicious, and Scott, his ticket to the Hall of Fame, has not yet been punched.